Welcome to HB Tuner's Ford Gen 2 Coyote Training Part 28. In this training module, we're going to be exploring our torque model and the basics that we need to know in order to move into dialing in the torque model and getting everything calibrated properly. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Gen 2 Coyote applications and taking a look at our torque based control. This tutorial is going to be focusing on the basics, the fundamentals of our torque based control, understanding how this all works, how the tables all fit together, and the flow of logic. The next tutorial, we're going to dig into how to actually calibrate our torque based control system if we have torque errors that are being generated and we need to fix our torque model. So let's jump in here and let's talk about our fundamentals. Now, the very first thing we want to do here is open up some calibration files so we can take a look at both the automatic and a manual transmission file. There are slight differences specifically in our driver demand table that I want to go and illustrate and highlight here when we get onto the topic of driver demand and how that fits into our torque model. Now in my VCM editor software here, I have my auto transmission file open here. So 2017 Mustang GT auto that's found in our training course folder under our Mustang file example folder. And then we're going to find that we also have uh, the year that's separated 2015 2016 2017 i went into the 2017 folder and i grabbed the automatic transmission file now i'm going to also open up a manual transmission calibration file i'm going to open that open that up in a separate instance of the vcm editor software because if we do a comparison feature it's not going to show the driver demand tables properly so let's go down here i'm just going to type down here in the search function vcm editor open up another example here of the manual transmission. Let's just give this a second here. And as soon as that loads, I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to go to File Open. And then in that HB Tuners Gen 2 course folder, Mustang Example Files 2017 Mustang, I'm going to grab this GT option right here. So now we have a manual transmission and an automatic transmission file open. And we can do that comparison between them a little bit easier when we get to that point talking about our driver demand table. So what we're going to find here is that within the torque base control. The engine control module is going to understand what the torque output of the engine is going to be at any given time, knowing the airflow coming from our airflow model, knowing the spark timing we're commanding versus what's known as maximum brake torque timing coming from the MBT spark timing tables. If we have a couple degree spark timing difference, let's say we're under the maximum brake torque, it's going to understand in relevance to that maximum brake torque timing value how much less torque we're making. Likewise, if we're commanding, let's say 1.0 or stoichiometric 1.0 lambda, or commanding 0.8 lambda, there's going to be a difference in the torque output for the engine, for the fueling. So at a richer mixture, we're going to have the power potential increase of our engine, and therefore it's gonna understand the difference in that deviation uh, between different commanded lambda mounts in the engine's torque output. In addition to this, we also have frictional losses the engine control module is going to take into account it's already been modeled from Ford. The frictional losses will account for any kind of uh, viscosity differences in our oil temperature or things of that nature, any kind of uh, drag that's on our engine. So if we have the air conditioning on versus the air conditioning off, the drag of the AC compressor running, it'll be able to model that and it's gonna translate that back into the engine control module. So everything is going to essentially be characterized so that we can have a precise calculation of torque at any given time. It's actually a really, really neat system. And as long as you're keeping everything in order in terms of making sure your airflow model is solid, so the mass airflow, the speed density is dialed in, that's all good. And making sure that uh, you have no torque errors in your system, which we'll talk about how to tune out torque errors in the, in the next tutorial. Um, everything will do exactly as Ford programmed. And it's actually a really, again, really, really neat system. And it works extremely well. Now, there are some other factors within the torque based control. The torque control is used in both our throttle body drive by wire control. It's also used in uh, uh, the traction control. Um, so there's going to be a, a couple of variations of the way the torque system can be implemented within the engine control module. But essentially, if we want to control any output from our engine and be able to account for anything that's going on, everything will be modeled in language of torque and from our idle control all the way to traction control. So it's all kinds of variables that it's going to take into account. What we want to do is understand the fundamentals of the actual torque based system so that when we're moving into calibrating the torque control system, 
things will make a lot more sense and uh, you won't be blindly going about making changes. So we'll have a little bit of an order that we understand um, how the flow of logic works within the engine control modules programming. So first thing I want to do here in the automatic transmission file, I want to go through and just point out some key tables within the torque based control system. Then we're going to be taking a look at a flow of logic in our torque based control, understanding two key elements, air load and desired load, and how those drive our torque based control system response specifically in our uh, drive by wire throttle body control, how that's going to be working and uh, make a little bit more sense in terms of that drive by wire control. But let's jump in here and take a look at some key tables first. So if we go in here to our engine tab in this automatic transmission example here, and we move into torque management, and we go here from our general over here to driver demand. We're going to find that we have... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.